boys and girls welcome back to the steak and brush i'm christine and today i am so so excited i think i found a do um and i really really want to share it with you um so i'll start it out but i hadn't planned on this being a do video at all um i was wanting i you know i saw the new wet and wild collection come out really didn't care that much for the ice cream one yeah so so whatever um but the coffee cat one really really spoke to me and i saw it online i had some troubles getting it um because i don't like to order from wet wild and alta had issues but i finally you know i was doing the 21 days of beauty sale and i finally had enough for free shipping so i if i added this so i went ahead and i added this i guess i could show it to you you know it's a cute it's a 16 pan palette um you know it's neutrals <laughs> um some shimmers and some mattes didn't really think that much of it except i thought it was really cute until i opened it and when i got here i mean even the pictures online didn't trigger anything with me but i opened it up and i was looking at it it's like man and i think it's because you can't really see what the shimmers but when you see the shimmers it kind of triggers it like that looks a lot like the natasha denona bronze palette and okay before i go any further i have to comment on this this smells like coffee i hate the taste of coffee but i love the smell of coffee <laughs> i know it's weird so i can't stop smelling it but it is heavily scented so if that bothers you this might bother you but anyway so i you know i looked at that when i looked at the shimmers and stuff i'm like that reminds me a lot of the shades in here I mean, that's a 16 pan palette. This one is a 15 pan palette. But it really, really seemed a lot alike. Not all of the shadows are dupes. Um, you know, for you know, one and two, there's nothing here uh, in the Natasha Denona palette. But if you take the third color here, and that matches up i think with beach and natasha denona pretty well it looks worse on me but trust me when you when you use it um sorry i gotta wipe my hands off in between all of these and the fourth pan here, a lot of the shimmers were super close. So I really didn't find, I, I could have kind of matched some of them. Same thing with number five here was a little different. Um, six here, I thought went really well with the true copper. See them like that. Wet and Wild, Natasha Denona. seven here not so much i just kind of numbered these going over um but eight and magma and the natasha denona so this is wet and wild natasha denona ninth color here here along with Ridge and Natasha Denona again you can see there's a little bit with the undertone that's a little different but you know they're pretty close um let's see number 10 I didn't really come up with one 11 I'm sorry, this is 10. 11 is here. I think that looks like the Palladium and Natasha Denona. One has a little bit more red. One has more mattes, so there was not really a match for number 12. Number 13 here. Of gloaming. The 
this one also I'll show you that's the wet and wild that's the uh, Natasha Denona there's also I mean, it could have it kind of goes a little bit that's bliss but bliss is like a multi-chrome could probably get away with it next one right here and the rhodium the rhodium does pull a little more purple where this one is brown but it's pretty close it still has that cool tone to it finally we've got this last one down here number 16 and deep dive. Deep dive is one of the cream to powders so it's a little more black. And that's the Natasha Denona. But I did one side of my eye, one eye with Natasha Denona today and one side with the corresponding color to Wet n Wild. I mean, can you tell which one is which or can you tell even that they're two different palettes so i filmed this um to show you you know how exactly i did this and what colors i use and then at the end it tells you which one is which so stay tuned i want to see you know put your guesses in now uh, which one's Natasha Denona and which one's Wet n Wild and I'm interested to see what you think and then at the end of the video you'll find out so stay tuned okay so I thought I would do a little showdown here with the Coffee Cat palette and the Natasha Denona palette doing one look on e you're using one palette for each eye but using kind of the corresponding colors to see how well they perform so let's get into this um, I'm going to use um, when I talk about the colors um, these have no names so I'm just going across like this this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and then when I talk about the Natasha Denona, I will actually have, I will say the color names here. So, and I do have to keep looking down at my notes because a lot of the colors are very similar <laughs> as if you, you know, saw my Natasha Denona review. Um, so I've actually had to write down like this number corresponds with this thing just from my swatches so let's see where do we want to start I think we will start with um, number three in the wet and wild which corresponds with beach and the Natasha Denona and like I said one eye will be one one eye will be the other but we'll see at the end which one it is so yeah and you know what I'm going to do so that I don't give it away. I'm not going to use my palette with the mirror. I'll just use my little Wonder Woman compact. So let's go in. And I will be using my color switch in between, but the same brush so that you know, you know, the brush has nothing to do with it and the brush is clean.
And I'm going to go in with the, this is, I'm using the Alter Ego brushes, by the way. This is number one. I'm going to go in with number eight, Wet n Wild, which corresponds to Suntan. Look pretty similar so far. I'm gonna go in with my number seven brush with number 14 Wet n Wild, which is Magma in the um, Tosh Denona. Just saw that I've got some on my nose. Clear that off in just a second. I can just kind of blend in with my bronzer right there. <laughs> All right, then what shimmer do I want to use? I think I'm going to use True Copper in the Natasha Denona, which is number six in the Wet n Wild. We'll tell you, these shimmers were the hardest to kind of match because they're so, so close in the Natasha Denona palette. And I am, in case you missed it, <laughs> I am just using my finger for that instead of a brush.
go in with this number eight brush and instead of doing a liner an actual liner I'm going to use deep dive in the Natasha Denona which is number 16 in the um, wet and wild My eye had a little problem with my left eye today. Not like doing my makeup or anything like that, but my actual eye is a little sensitive today. I'm sure that's some residual LASIK stuff there. both of these just using the smallest amount for this because it is a dark color and since I'm using it as a liner I just want I want it to be a little more precise not super precise but just a little bit more match them at all go back into the other side try to <laughs> match them up a bit go into the same color my under eyes I'm just going to do just the outer third or so again that is number 16 wet and wild and deep dive in um, Natasha Denona go into number eight and no. let's go back into uh, number three and beach to kind of smoke it out a bit I am going to put on some lashes and um, liner and I'll be back but let's look at this real quick before I do that and you tell me which one you think is which all right I'll be right back okay guys I've got my lashes on I am loving these Anastasia Beverly Hills dreamy lashes that I got on sale at Sephora so let's take a look again you tell me which eye is which. One is Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. One is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat. Okay, have you chosen? All right, well, here's the answer. 
Natasha Denona over here and Wet n Wild Coffee Cat. Um, for a couple of the colors, I had to go in a little harder on this one, but man, I mean, and this one, of course, this one has a much nicer formula and it blended out a little easier too, but this was $9 and this was 65. I don't know if I could say that this is worth 55 more dollars based on the formulas. Um, this one has 16 shades. They're not all exact dupes, but you know, I duped out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So, you know, that's two thirds of this palette. I duped out with this and this has and here's where it's gonna it's really gonna get you the shades that there's more mattes in this than there are shimmers but most of the shimmers on here are so so close so I said you know I don't know which one I would pick and you know, so I think you know, if you like that, the Natasha Denona palette, and you don't want to spend that money, get this instead. I mean, I'm not going to begrudge this one because I love this too, but I'm very excited. So tell me what you think. Have you seen anything else that um, you think dupes the Natasha Denona? Or do you have you ever looked at a palette, you know, recently and said, I think that's a dupe of this. Let me know and I will try it out. I'm very excited. But thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.